check my test okay good evening um magpapasko na it's now december 23 sunday 6 45 49 pm so ngayon yung ipapakita ko naman ngayon is yung paano mag implement ng CRUD in our Laravel um hindi hindi CRUD pero yung focus po natin is in is in API ito so um yung una kung nagpak na turo ako ng CRUD functions na using Laravel tapos naka web lang tayo is medyo madali lang po yun so ngayon is naka focus naman tayo in API so first of all you need to have you need to have what we call this one uh, a fresh install of Laravel and then second will be you need to have you need to have to install um, Laravel JWT of my instruction naman po dito ito, ito yung repo nya kasi gumagamit, gumamit ako ng um, JWT token uh, I mean authentication so basically here in our API route ito meron tayong login meron din tayong resource route which is books so resource which means we perform the CRUD functions so here so I think um, madali naman tong maiintindihan like uh, if you go to the our route our local host and then slash api slash off ito let me slash api slash off slash login tapos okay so when we go to our which we are this serve when we go to our host which is one to seven point zero point zero point one we use by the way we use postman to test our to test our our api and actually there's one way also to test your api uh, ito po mas this is one of the best way may repo po itong kaibigan po tapos ito it's epi docs ito po ito po yung instruction you can test your api through your web browser there's no need to use any third party application like um, postman and etc sa kanya you just need to clone the repo and then there's an instruction here para natin sundin ito makakapag test ka ng api through your web browser okay so yung sa atin naman is uh, ay try natin mag login to our api route login using postman and then click send unauthorized bucket kasi when we try to check our controller here pag mali yung credential natin is nag output siya ng unauthorized with a status code of 401 ito po 401 so bakit mali kasi mali yung username natin let's go to our workbench uh, I mean let's go to users kapihin po natin to and then paste it here <coughs> excuse me when we click send ayun success so kung titingnan natin is yung codes natin is very basic we just need to import this JWT of class after we install our JWT so in installing this meron naman pong instruction dito just need to click this link or dito kahit sa wiki na lang then for this merong laravel installation instruction just follow the instruction na po and then you're good to go ayun meron na instruction dito 
then you're good to go. So after that, in our auth controller where we need to import our GWT auth kasi ginamit natin yan, gagamitin natin yan mamaya. So here, we have our credentials, which is, you know, our username password. Actually, we can use something like this. Let me check. Pwede siya. Ayun, pwede siya. It's more, I think, it's more better. Mas, mas gumaan yung codes natin, di ba? So, okay. Once we get our token, we need to go to our books URL to get the list of books. So, kukopyahin muna natin to. Because we're going to use this in further move. So, here, let's visit books. And then, when we click send, let's see what, what we're gonna have. Ayun, meron po tayong 401. Itong 401 error is unauthorized status code error po to. Bakit? Kasi wala tayong token. Ayan, pag inatouch natin yung token, ayun, meron tayong list of books, which is yung name lang yung nilagay ko. Makikita nyo naman natin dito sa database. Migration, ayun, name lang. Tapos pati na rin sa factories natin, umamit ako ng figure. Uh, ay, alam nyo na yun. And then, it's good to go. Meron tayong list of books. So, okay. Mana yung list of books natin. So, mag-a-add naman ako ng books. Since name lang yung ma-a-add natin. Um, paano kung hindi ko ito papalitan ng name ang mangyayari is ganito. For a while, ayun, meron tayong error, which is the general field name doesn't blah blah blah. Um, let's, ayun, doesn't have any value. It means, yung name walang value kasi username yung gamit natin. If we use name, and then papalitan natin to ng file pattern, ayun, paklik natin ng send, meron tayong in-output naman niya yung kaka-output at kakalagay natin na ano, with the status code of 200 ayun so we already performed two tasks create book and view list of books ayun so meron tayong id with na 3 4 when, what if gusto ko lang i-view yung books na merong id of <coughs> 3 so ayun lalagay lang natin yung 3 dito sa url natin tapos good to go ayun so kung you will wonder na how do I get that URL since meron lang tayong resource books you can perform this one in your route list ayun makikita ni po dito when we use resource sa book meron tayong URL na API books API books create to create with the method of ano, uh, the method of post and then when, if you want to show dito meron tayong show which is yung url natin will be api box and the id until the edit and delete okay um, for more information dyan meron naman dyan sa laravel documentation you can follow it so alright so what makes this special, this API, ay, Laravel CRUD functions in API? Um, dinagdagan ko po siya ng test case. Meron po tayong test driven development dito. So, here. So, to create, to create a test. I'm actually, um, warning, warning. Um, X, this. Take note na hindi po ako master, meron po mas mas magaling pa sa akin dito, lalo na yung approach na napaka-OOP, napakaganda, napakagandang tingnan, lalo na po yung mga master ko doon sa Cebu. Uh, alam nyo na kung sino kayo, uh, mga master po sila doon, sila po yung um, my, my patient 
patience na tulungan ako uh, may will talaga kasi ano kapwa si Buano rin parang nagkakagana ng loob kaya thank, salamat sa lahat salamat sa kanila so here so our test case is um, to make a test case you just need to ano page where it is and make test tapos the name of the test so since yung name of test natin is book test yun din yung pangalan na nilagay ko dito ito book test ayan So, in our test, mapapansin nyo na meron na akong first test which is um, to test view all books. So, let me explain this. Um, I create a user using the factory. I create a book. Siyempre. So, this one, um, this one is, to explain this one, um, we, we have a token variable and then we use GWTO token from that user. And then, we So we modify the headers and then we attach the token um, credits nga pala sa credits nga pala sa um, nagturo sa akin ito which is yung idol ko na, na nasa Cebu si Master Master Harley Kindo yun siya po yung um, source na, na natuto ako ng ganitong medyo advanced na um, and then for this um, we create a variable get the user and then we modify the user uh, we, we modify the http headers which we connect the bearer and the token and then after that we set a token ganun lang po so we ito is just a variable tapos we visit the api with the headers itong headers na to is ito, itong ganito na so definitely when we when we try to send a request naka-attach na tong token sa token na to which is ito yung format niya and then we are expecting to have uh, a cert status of 200 and then the json format will be this test that one ito po test that one um, let's run our server and in our project and then send ayun ito yun so kung makita mo meron tayong id name created at updated at so in, in my assert i want to have a status code of 200 which is here 200 means um success okay and then I want to have a, I want to assert the JSON which yung ID niya is yung created book ID ko at yung name naman is yung created book name ko tapos yung assert JSON structure niya is kung titingnan nyo is ID name created at updated ito po yung structure niya ayun and then let's go down ito yung test view specific book which is eto ayan ito po ito po yan so binalik ko na naman ito and then for this yung instead na API books lang we need to indicate the ID that the book that we have created ito tapos yung headers natin which we attach the token and then yung structure natin which is ito ID name created at which we can find it here ayun ganito lang yung pagtest And then the second one will be um, delete. When we delete, we we need to repeat this one. And then, then ito lang this delete API books specific ID. Um, let's leave this as a blank array, because it require it really requires three parameter. And then our headers. And then we are expecting to have a status of 200. Kasi when we try to delete ito <coughs> makatil yung lalamunan ko ito we have a status of 200 so when we try to get all books mawawala na yung books na merong id of 4 ayun 3 and then jump to 5 kasi we delete the 4 
is the creating of books we need to repeat this one again actually we can imp implement the one that most of the pros using yung merong set up um, in the next part of, the, of this tutorial i implement natin yan meron tayong parang constructor sa test case natin which is yung set up tapos parent set up we are going to implement that one and then here we we have this post kasi we, we need to create something and then the name of the book will be the book name that we have temporarily created and then we attach the headers as a third parameter and then we want to see a status of 200 and then and then we want to see the json as json yung name ng book natin so if we perform that one harry potter 3 ayan ito po yung pag create ng books ayun we see the harry potter 3 which is accurate naman dito so when we perform the test then Ayun. Success, wala tayong error. So, sa login naman natin, meron tayong test in login. Ito, wala pa lang tayo sa unit, wala pa tayo. Pero lalagyan natin 'yan in the next next part. Sa login naman natin is we create a user and then this post uh, because we want to send the post request into this URL which is API of login with the username of the username that we have created and then the password is secret um, once na send na yan we, we are expecting to have status of 200 and assert json structure access token token type and expiry in. let me let me show this to you uh, login post username password of secret tapos let me copy our username then send alright we need again to run our server so send here so, meron tayong status code of 200, which is accurate, very accurate in our test, 200, and then assert of JSON structure with access token, access token, token type expires in, very 100% accurate here. So, in, if we want to test our login, matitest natin yan, and then what if we have an invalid password? So, here, we create our user. We send our user credential with the password of secret to kasi sa factory natin wala namang secret to. It's default as secret, di ba? Um, ang yung factory natin to, okay ko is ito. Factory is tapos user factory. Tapos yung password natin ito, which is at, which is ito, secret. So, for that, um, if we have a wrong password, uh, we are expecting to have a search status of 401. Why 401? Because 401 means um, invalid credential. Let me try this one here. Ayun, 401 code. And then we have a JSON structure of error with a value of unauthorized here. Tingnan on JSON structure of error. Ayun, so if we want to run our test, which render pin login test. Ayan, 6 assertion. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we check um, how many assertion totally we have, we have 21 assertions. And 6 tests, test with each a method. The post number of assertion natin is 21. And then, okay. 
so for this i really want to share this code to you i hope it will help you and even me uh, wala naman pro perfecto syempre nalilimutan ko rin yung codes di ba laravel api cry with ddd hit init and then this one kopyahin na lang natin to Ayan, um, sa lahat ng gustong mag, if you think na makakatulong sa inyo yung test case ko, tapos yung, yung, yung basic concept na ginawa ko, you can, you can just simply clone the repo. So, salamat at magandang gabi.